let us uh, construct a modulus 16 counter asynchronous or also known as repeat counter using this multisim software. You require, since it is mod 16, modulus refers to the maximum number of counts, count sequence, a counter progresses once the clock is given. Why are you calling it as asynchronous? Because the clock is given only to the first flip flop. The output of the first serves as a clock to the second, the second output to the third, the output of the third flip flop to the fourth, and so on. And since nothing is mentioned, it is a positive triggered flip flop. If there is no bubble here at the clock. If there is a bubble, that means it's a negative clock. So give the positive clock here and drive the complement output here. If you give positive clock, the negative output will be given. If you give a negative clock, positive output will be given. Why are you doing this? If the clock is driven by the positive clock and the output, complement output is driving the succeeding flip-flops, then it is known as a binary up counter. Because the binary sequence will be one up or one ahead or one more than the previous one. If it is a negative clock, the Q output drives the flip-flop to the drive like the Q output of the second drives the third, the Q output of the third drives the fourth and so on. Since it is consisting of four different flip-flops, it is called as modulus 16 or in short mod 16. So the number of count sequence determines or defines the modulus of a counter. So if you use only one flip-flop, it is given by the formula 2 power n. If n is equal to 1, it counts 2, that is 0 and 1. And if n is equal to 2, it counts 2 to the power 2, that is 4. 4 means inclusive of 0, so 0, 1, 2, 3. And if you use 3 flip flops, 2 to the power 3 being 8, it will count up to 7 from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And when you use 4 flip flops, n is equal to 4, so 2 to the power 4 will be 16. And the number of digits that are used in hexadecimal notation consists of both numeric as well as alphanumeric. The numeric part is from 0 to 9 and from A to F is alphanumeric. So A corresponds to 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14 and F will be 15. So this is how the count sequence goes on. You are giving a clock here and J and K are tied to 1, 1 everywhere. You are using, what are you using here? You are using digital interact constants. That is, go to the sources and click on this. Here you have digital interactive constants. They are toggle switches. So, if you press once it is 0, if you press once again, goes to 1. So it toggles between the 0 and 1 state. And here what you are using is a hexadecimal, a 7 segment display which is having 8 segments. Each segment is lit, lit, lit according to the digit that you are going to display. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are the different segments. Depending on which digit you are displaying, the corresponding segment will be lit. Now let me show you. You can see that it is simulating. Once again, we will do. You can see it. You have to make sure that everywhere J is equal to 1 and K is made equal to 1. Now, 1. See, I have given 10 hertz clock here. So, slowly it is moving. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 8. 10 hertz means 1 by 10. So, 0 0.1 second is the frequency. 9. After 9, 10. Instead of 10, it is A. A corresponds to 10. 
Next comes B which is 11. This is C, 12. D, 13. E, 14. And F, 15. Okay? So, suppose I increase the clock frequency to let us say 50 hertz. So, 1 by 5 is 0.2 seconds. And let us see what happens. Okay. Now, the